Oh, our hero is here. Miss Sharon, please. I'm no hero. You are a hero. You're my hero. <laughs> I appreciate you, Kareem. I mean it. Looking after your wife like this, bravo. But I expect you're going to ask me why I didn't split them up at first. I'll ask you now. Why didn't you split them up? I wanted to see who would win. Andy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't like Aiden, so I wanted him to get beaten. Looking back, it was risky. Where's Mother? She said she had to run some errands. It's just us tonight. Phyllis, could you bring the soup now? Welcome, Mr. Aiden. Come. Thank you. Miss Natalia will be with you shortly. All right. Thank you. My, 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 look at you. Uh, you're like my mom. Anna, you look pretty. I hope you find the one. Did you hear me? I did. You still don't want him? Tell me something. What if Kareem walked in and said that he broke up with that girl? Nothing. I'm so hurt. That's impossible. Then why are you still so sad? I'm not sad. I don't want to let Ken down. You won't. Don't worry, I'm sure of it. Hmm? There. Hello? Hello. Where'd you like to go? Wherever you want to go. No, wherever you want. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Natalia. Welcome. <clears throat> I'd, lo I'd like to say something first. If you're here to apologize for what that punk Kareem did, I'm not going to accept it. Me? Apologizing for someone else? Aiden, have you gone mad? I thought you were smarter than that. I... I don't know. You... You called me here saying we should speak. What else can it be? You have to learn to think broadly, Aiden. Your late father was a wise man. Phyllis, that's enough. Give her more, Phyllis. Eat it, please. But I'm too full. I'm responsible for you, dear. I promised your mother. Please eat. That's enough. Uh, so where is Ken? You should know. Of course I know. He was very excited today since he went to see Anna. They went to dinner, then maybe take a walk at the seaside. <laughs> really? Hmm. But in this weather, they're going to freeze. You don't freeze when you're in love. Cold is good for lovers. You snuggle, you hug. It's the best way to stay warm. <laughs> I've been on that road, too. It feels so nice. They must be very happy now. Yes, I wish them well. I just hope they don't regret it. Thank you very much. Yes, Thank you.
Is it just the two of us tonight? It's only us. AJ. I didn't know I was so popular. Why? Didn't I tell you enough? No, it's not you. Who else loves you? I'll kill him. You'll kill him? Of course. No mercy. Well? Do you know who else is in love with you? Tell me. People at the sports club. Mr. Martin, Hadley, the massage therapist, the ball boy, my students, they were happy to see me. That's good news. I was wondering whether I should kill him myself or hire someone. Don't be silly. I would do anything for you, Anna. Ken. This is the first time I felt this way. I've always put a price on the women I go out with. I've always asked myself what I would do for them. Nothing. I always said I'd do nothing. That's the test of love. What would you do for your love? If you say that you would do anything, then it's real. It's nice to hear those, those beautiful words. Being with you is beautiful. You know I can change if that will make you happier. I'll change for you. You don't need to change anything at all. You're exactly the man I want. My only fear is... What is it? Am I the woman you want? What are you talking about? You don't know me yet. Maybe I'm a liar, you know. Maybe I'm not as good as you think I am. I swear I don't care. I'm gonna love you anyway, whether you like it or not. How come? Don't know. Maybe it's because I don't know you. Isn't that the case with all great love stories? First you fall in love, then you know the person. <laughs> I didn't know that you were so sensitive. I didn't know about it either. It's thanks to you. Strange. You get to know yourself more when you fall in love. Miss Natalia, how long do you plan on keeping quiet? You'll be sorry if I talk. Hold on. First, you'll listen to me. All right. I've never forgiven you for what you did to Celine. I won't forgive you. If you think you'll be able to win her heart again at some point, don't even bother. That'll never happen. Miss Natalia, look. I swear on my life that I really love Celine. That man that she married. Don't go on. This is your file. My security manager prepared it. What do you want from me? AJ. I have to take this call. It's work. I'll be right back. Why are you calling me? Didn't I tell you not to? You did. How many times do I have to tell you my mom didn't accept it? Is that so, Ken? Don't make me mad. You know how she is, AJ. Right, so you couldn't do it. Okay. Check the internet in about five minutes. You can watch yourself, or better yet, watch it with your current girlfriend. AJ, don't do this. I'm not kidding, Ken. I'm hanging up now. Wait, don't hang up! Are you okay? Yes, why? You seem like you're troubled. 
work. That's all. It's a pain. Mm. Are you all right? Tell me. I'm great. You're a lousy person, but you're a good lawyer. I've seen you win several impossible cases. I'm offering you a job. You'll close your practice and come work for me. You'll start working in the legal department of the company. You'll win cases for us from now on. Hold on. So I'll be your lawyer with a salary? That's right. But if you want a title, I can give you that as well. But why... Why would I accept your offer right now? Because right now, you have zero credibility. I'll help you to get a loan so you can pay your debts. I'll even pay you a bonus for signing on. I'll help you financially. I think that's enough. Well then? <laughs> this is a favor. And I know you don't hand out favors for nothing. So what do you want from me? I know that you don't like Kareem. I hate him. He's probably a good person. Selena's happy with him. But I still don't know him very well. Someone has to watch him in the office. I want you to keep an eye on Kareem. So you want me to be a spy for you then? I thought you'd like the idea. <laughs> <laughs>